Hello and welcome back to Rome Total War Skippy Eye Campaign doing the No Post Marion Unit Recruitment Challenge. And to start off, I want to talk about some of the progress we've made since uh, 246 BC when we did our last checkup. Last comparison with our Broody Eye Campaign, we had only 19 regions. At that point, we had won 125 battles and lost three. Now we're up to. 184 battles won and four battles lost and we hold 30 regions so in approximately five years we've managed to take 11 provinces that's really good so we've managed to really pick up the pace and uh, really outpace what we did in the uh, broody eye campaign because in equivalent in 242 BC in the broody eye campaign we only captured uh, 24 regions and won 108 battles, lost four. So in that five year span, we had only captured three regions as the Broody Eye. So that's kind of, so with the Broody Eye campaign, we had a much quicker beginning. And then in the middle of the game, it slowed down quite a bit. With the Skippy Eye, we had a little bit slower start. And that was mainly because we were spread out in multiple different directions and having to deal with Numidia and Spain in the west, you know, Greece, Macedonia, and Pont now Pontus. It was really slow, and, and Dacia, of course, up north too, because it took us a while to build up big enough forces to march out in all the directions. But once we did that, we really picked up the pace and have been uh, moving pretty fast. We've also been pretty successful in our goals of keeping the other Roman factions at bay. Since 246 BC, the Brutii haven't taken another settlement. Their last settlement was uh, Halicarnassus and the, the Julii. We successfully stopped them from taking Oska and they've only taken one province since then, which is Limonim. And uh, that wasn't really, we didn't really have much to do with that. That was just them, like, for whatever reason, they're just not moving out against Gaul, which I'm totally happy with. I think us taking Oska really spoiled their momentum and they didn't know what to do. We managed to really slow them down. In our Broody Eye campaign, they reached the Marian reforms in 242 BC, so uh, we've definitely beaten that. They don't have anything over 24,000 yet. So the biggest city is Aretium with uh, 21,461. It has a negative population growth. It's still getting fed slaves from the various cities out here. Tarentum over here, also negative growth rate. Uh, I believe it's finally stopped receiving slaves. I think this population is lower than it was. I might be wrong, but it looks like they've really slowed down their population growth rate. Uh, another thing I want to look at is to compare the finances with our Broody Eye campaign. Income wise, we're pretty close to the same. So this is a comparison with the Broody Eye in 242 BC winter. I don't have any data on 241 BC, so it's not a same year comparison, but it's as close as I could get. So the uh, Broody Eye had an income of 69,602 and expenses of, well, it's not right to compare the expenses because that includes recruitment and constructions. So let's take a look at the army um, upkeep. Uh, the army upkeep for the for our so the army upkeep at this time equivalent time for the broody eye was only thirty one thousand five hundred eighty two versus our thirty six thousand six hundred sixty five so quite a bit difference we're having to spend a lot more money maintaining our troops because we're moving out in all different directions so we have to have m bigger armies on multiple fronts so. Also at this time, like our income is basically the same, but if you look at the Broody Eye at this time only had 24 regions, we have 30. So we have six more regions and are only making like 500 denarii more than the Broody Eye. And I think the biggest reason is um, we don't control Athens. Athens was huge in the... Uh, Broody Eye campaign. It was my most profitable city. You know, also not having roads in Halicarnassus. I know we have more provinces now, but these ones, I mean, Carthage is negative. Uh, even though it's a pretty big city, we just had to keep so many troops here to maintain the public order. 
It's just not as profitable as Athens. I don't think it gets nearly as much trade income as Athens had. And, you know, with Greece, you control this region here with, and you get all those ports in there. You just make tons of money. And we never had any money problems in the Brudia campaign. We just could build whatever we want. I never missed a construction. I built something in every settlement. Well, as long as I had the population, I pretty much built something every turn. Here I've had to pick and choose what I build because I just don't have the money. Uh, I run out of money every single turn. So big difference between the Broody Eye and Scipio Eye. Richer provinces for the Broody Eye that are just easy to take. And had we been able to get Athens, that would have been huge for us. We would have made so much more money. But because the Broody Eye got Athens in this campaign and not us, we've been really hurting for money. And it's not really helping us going out in Spain either. In northern Africa, not really the richest provinces. So I could go after Egypt and make a lot more money that way. But uh, Egypt's pretty powerful. And I don't want to move all my armies that way. I'm going to have to... I, it's getting closer to Civil War time. Uh, with 30 regions controlled, it won't be long. I mean, we're doing pretty good with the Senate. So I don't think it's going to... I don't think they're going to force us to go to a civil war anytime soon. In fact, I wonder if I can even start it now. Let's check. No, I still can't start the civil war yet. But it's not that far off if I continue to capture more regions in Spain. So I think uh, my goals for this campaign is to finish conquering Asia. And then not mess with Egypt, even though it's a lot of money. Um, just take Asia. Take Spain. And then hopefully we can maintain peace with Armenia. They didn't give us any problems in our last campaign, so I'm hoping we can maintain peace with them. And Egypt. Hopefully we can maintain peace with Egypt as well. And then we can sh move all our troops back to focus on the Civil War. And by the time we conquer Spain and Asia, we should have enough provinces to start the Civil War. And uh, I think the Marian reforms will be triggered by then. Because the Juliar are going to expand further into Gaul, I will be forced to deal with the armies that I've already recruited. I am building an army barracks in Capua so I can get Triarii. And also in Syracuse, building that army barracks. In this episode, I'm going to continue my campaign against Pontus. In fact, let's go ahead and begin. Let's start by taking this army over here with their... Uh, couple of spearmen, some chariots and stuff. Alright, have a little bit of advantage. Let's go ahead and begin this battle. Alright, let's go ahead and get my uh, armies moving up. I've got... Um, well, let's uh, make sure we face the enemy first. Alright, let's go. Double time. Double time. Uh, I think they're just getting in formation. I don't think they're attacking just yet. Let's do that same strategy. It worked so well last time. Let's uh, let's hit them with flaming arrows and see if we can get them to run amok. So I got my cavalry on my left flank. The bulk of it. I got a couple of cavalry over here on my right flank. Um, that's because I'm just going to sit back and protect them. Um against their well it looks like they just have light missile cav but it's not a lot I mean we don't have a lot so they have 108 we have a little bit over that all right so looks like they're coming after us okay we got we got them to run amok let's let's uh just fire at everybody now let's go ahead and get my cavalry Moving on that. No, it's kind of awkward against these infantry. I don't want to just charge just yet. Okay, I didn't pay attention. I Those uh, missile cab were able to... They're just light cab, but they were able to take out both of my uh, units over here. Um, they took out, yeah, both of my right flank cab. You know, one was full strength. I guess uh, I should have paid attention. I didn't really, wasn't focused on them. 
I need to get my infantry moving forward, I think. Let's get my Hastadis over here, double time. And... Let's go target these guys. Um... Uh, Let's go chase these guys with their Illyrians. They're pretty good in melee. Okay, there we go. And now, we didn't really use this cavalry on our left flank at all. They just kind of been sitting tight the whole battle. That's okay, they'll be fresh to chase him down. Uh, still got some light cab over here. Let's take those guys out. Yeah, they're in a semi retreat. Just a couple of units remaining. Let's take out these uh, spearmen. There's a lot of them, 214, but they should route pretty quickly considering the state of the rest of the army. Alright, just mopping them up. They haven't done an actual retreat just yet, but most of their units are routed. They've got this little bit of heavy cav over here. Should have enough guys to take them out. There we go. Let's virtue. mop them up. All right, not a bad victory. 229 losses, 1600 kills. Pretty good. Attack! Besieging settlement, sir. All right, I've got this city besieged, but man, is it going to be tough? They got two chariot archers. They're faction air. A heavy calf, some archers. Thankfully, they've only got wooden palisades. It's not going to be impossible, but man, I'm not looking forward to taking on these chariots and uh, heavy calf. Maybe they'll attack me. Wow, they've got more chariots and stuff. Yeah, they might attack me with this, this other army over here. I think we should be able to hold them off, though. We got a bit of a rebel army over here. Let's go ahead and hit him. Alright, we got quite an advantage. It's just uh, militia hoplites. We should be able to take them out pretty easily. Alright, not a bad victory. 481 kills. We did lose one man to friendly fire, but that was it. All right, with that, I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Your service. So it looks like uh, Dacia managed to sneak an army past me over here uh, in the north. Um, I do have one Hastati. I don't know what this army is. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. Just way. getting near should be good enough. All right. Um, not... Not too threatening, but we don't have many troops in the area. We'll have to get a watchtower up north here to make sure that doesn't happen again. So we've got a general here. We've got one Hastati. Let's go ahead and march the Hastati in to the city. And we do have these guys up here. So what do we've got? We've got four infantry, really tough Bastardi mercenaries, Sarmatian mercenaries, which are really good heavy cav. So let's go ahead and bring a quite a few guys to deal with them. I don't really have anything else planned with these guys right now except for defend the north so we'll go ahead and make use of them here. Let's go ahead and have him join this army. Yeah let's go have him move up closer to this guy. Alright so we got this message um, a chance for power and it looks like we would be able to start a civil war if we wanted to. So that's interesting. We could strike before the Marian reforms. However, however, I'm not ready to do that. You look at these broody eye armies over here. We are definitely not ready to go to war with these guys just yet. Their population's still growing ever so slightly. Same with over here, but so we have a lot of we have some time. And so I want to continue with my plans to uh, secure 
our frontiers before we before we start the civil war. So, oh, <clears throat> over here in Poralism, since this is a major recruitment center for us because of the uh, Sacred Circle over here, like giving us all this upgrades. I'm gonna go ahead and build highways so we can transport troops back and forth. And same with uh, in Blizora. And let's continue to recruit over here as well. All right, so I have this general here, General Appius. I want him, him to be a governor, different city. I don't think, let's go move him out. I think I might just have him be governor of Kaidonia over here and recruit uh, Cretan archers. All right, I got the, my southern army over here. I think what I want to do is, looks like uh, Numidia has marched some forces out. I think I could hit them. Well, not this turn. Uh, but my plan is, my worries is uh, I hit them, right? They're just going to retreat back into the city. So what I want to do is I want to move around them. Let's go ahead down here, pick up the troops, and march them over here, and besiege the city. Ah. Uh, I messed that up. I should have marched out my cavalry first, and then I could have besieged the city. Oh well, they won't be able to get around me and get into the city, so they might be able to train up one unit, but they won't be able to train more than that. Let's go ahead and blockade them. And these guys don't look like they have the movement points to reach me here. They can't cross the desert. Yeah, so I should be good. All right, I'm gonna get my Spanish reinforcements. Moving out. Go ahead and drop them off at Carthago Nova. We got another reinforcements already arriving. They're gonna get back here, pick them up. We're continuing to reinforce Spain. Let's go ahead and get this arm, this navy over here to pick up these guys. I'm gonna move pretty much everyone because we got another army able to march in oh we don't need them wow well we, we <laughs> recruited all their peasants so let's go and get a temple of saturn too yeah let's go get this uh queso on this ship as well and we're a little bit cavalry heavy heavy in this army so let's go ahead and get them moved out and let's take a look at the spanish capital what do they got all right we got some bull warriors and long shield cavalry all right, not too much in their capital. Should be pretty easy, or not, a, not their capital, but a major city. Should be easy to take out. Oh, they're trying to sneak a guy past us. Should I, yeah, I should, I'll just use my reinforcements to deal with him. Looks like I won't be able to reach them next turn. So I'll just sit on this bridge. All right, well, I'm just going to get uh, Publius uh, Victor over here to go after Avaris. All right, kind of even. We have the slight edge. Uh, pretty good mix of units. A lot of infantry, cavalry, war dogs, uh, and skirmishers, no archers. Let's go. All right, um, here they come. Let's... Uh, Let's move up our infantry. Looks like we are able to hit them with our uh, slingers already. All right, let's move our infantry up. Double time, what do we got over here? We got naked fanatics charging. They do have a little cavalry over here, but I'm not too worried about them. And we've got their light cav over here. Let's go ahead and hit them. They should break really fast. And these guys have backed off. Good. What do we got over here? Naked Fanatics. All right. As long as uh, our missiles are hitting, we're not going to charge. I mean, except for on the flanks, of course. We gotta take care of our flanks. I gotta keep watching both flanks. Kinda keep them in, in view. Okay, those guys are routed. Okay, what do we got over here? Round shield. We should be able to take them. We got them surrounded thanks to their wedge formation. And I think that's it. I think they're done for. 
I don't know if we'll be able to catch them with our infantry, but I don't want to sacrifice my cavalry to catch them. We'll let them retreat. Well, I might take some, uh, if we can surround somebody, we'll, we'll try. We'll try to get a surround of maybe like these naked fanatics over here. See if we can do that. Get our cavalry over here and get a surround. Let's go. Attack. Attack. All right, we got them to route. Let's see. Let's go after these skirmishers next. Okay, there we go. We got the we got some mercenaries. Just uh, keep hitting them. I don't think we're gonna take a lot of losses because they're routing as soon as we touch them. Okay, they're fully routed. Let's uh, wipe them out. All right, yeah, we only lost 76. We killed over a thousand. Not bad. Yeah, so I'm not sure what to do with this army over here. Uh, I've got few units. I honestly don't think I need them for Pontus. Uh, let's take a look at the Pontus uh, military strength. Yeah, I don't need them. I don't need any more reinforcements. I think I'm good enough. We got their last really large army over here, I think, and their city who doesn't, they don't have many supplies. I might just wait until they surrender or this army attacks me. Although you have Broody Eye moving out. So I think I'm just going to have this Ready army head back to uh, start preparing for the Civil War. Yeah. Let's go have them uh, drop them off here. We'll have them sit in uh, Corinth, I think, for now. So I got the other half of my army down here to uh, get on this ship. So it looks like we're able to get... Our full army, well, two armies into Spain, and that's gonna really help with this uh, with our Sp Spanish conquest. I think I might cancel some of this uh, recruitment over here because we're out of money. We'll keep the archers because I think we're we don't have many archers. Uh, I'm gonna get another Equites over here to deal with these rebels, so we'll have two Equites over here. So I'm going to go over here and uh, take out uh, Nicomedia and we'll get the uh, complete the uh, Senate mission. We got the gates open so we don't even need these rams. Well, we could take out the walls, so let's go ahead and fight this. They do have some chariots, some big infantry, but it's most of the chariots I'm worried about. Side chariots, only 13 and 89 chariot archers, so... That's the big one, the uh, chariot archers. Maybe we can get them to run amok with our Cretan archers. All right, let's go ahead and uh, hit their walls. And uh, I'm gonna get my uh, Roman archers moving up. Well, it looks like our Cretan archers already did some damage here. Took out four guys. Where'd the rest of them go? I thought there was a, are those, those hillmen? I don't know. But, um, looks like, uh, we don't need these rams. Let's go ahead and drop the rams and just get our infantry in. There's the, uh, there's some of their chariots right there. And they got more chariots over here. These guys are all over the place. Chariots are such a big unit. They take up so much area that they don't really fit in this city kind of funny all right let's have my infantry run all right so what I'm trying to do is uh, get some troops over here on the left and some troops over here on the right it looks like they're um, uh, chariot archers are firing let's get our Cretan archers in I mean let our, get our archers in yeah and we're taking some damage already I love that they take a right angle here oh shoot let's uh we got hit. Okay, they're running away. They're running away. Don't pursue, please. Okay, what are you guys doing? Let's go ahead and hit these guys. Help! 
And, uh... Uh-oh. Here comes their chariot archers. Let's see if we can get them to run amok or something. I think I... I ran in here too quickly. Okay. Uh, oh, their their archers are uh, broken. Nice. We got our fire arrows doing their job. Very nice. And it looks like we took out that uh, Eastern Infantry. Let's not pursue them. Yeah, our archer's doing good job. Down to 44 chariot archers left. I wonder where their other uh, their side chariots went. All right, they're routed again. All right, let's uh, make sure we don't uh, send our archers into danger. Let's have them slow down. They just got six guys left. Just have them halt so they can fought, start shooting. I don't think we need to do the fire arrows anymore. Okay. Oh, look at those guys running amok way over there. Wow. We got them to completely leave the city. Okay, we got them. Now, to take this, the town square. All right, let's get these guys hitting this flank. All right, these guys will go down here. All right, I've got them kind of, I got a couple traps set up for them. And so I'm uh, letting my archers go ahead and start firing. We'll see which way they come. Hitting him from two different directions. I thought about hitting him three, but I couldn't really set up a trap here. We'll just settle for two. And let's go ahead and attack. Are these guys going to come after me? Okay, well, let's go ahead and get these guys. There's the enemy general. Yeah, let's just go ahead and charge out. And as soon as these guys rout... Oh, if they can, we can get them to route before they hit the town square. That would be great. There we go. The enemy There's the victory. Virtue. Hey, not bad. 92 Mark losses. That's not too bad. And, and this is another really micro settlement. So we're just going to occupy it. And we completed the mission. We'll get games thrown at our honor. In Padavium, huh? I guess it's going to take effect next turn. I'm just going to go ahead and end the turn right here now. Alright, just exactly what I had hoped for. I was hoping that they would attack us so we don't have to attack them. Uh, hopefully we can get some good uh, defensive territory. Uh, let's go ahead and fight this. All right, I kind of took a gamble and shoved all my guys in the corner right here. To, we want, I want to try and take this high ground. Looks like their reinforcements are right over here too. Maybe not the smartest idea. What we could do is kind of hold this hill. Have my hoplites over here. All right, and let's have everyone double time. Let's go. And hopefully they swing around and hit me like this this angle. Make sure my infantry are throwing their pila. Yeah, and the reinforcements over here in this corner, so they're going to come over here. So I got my hoplites protecting this side. As soon as they get in position, I'll have them make sure to switch to phalanx mode. We're just going to be really defensive here. I think I'm going to get the rest of my cavalry over here on my right flank. And have my hoplites and one cavalry protect my left flank. Alright, we're getting hit by their missiles. Unfortunately, our Cretan archers are on the wrong side. Let's get them up here to protect.
protect our flanks. Alright, Illyrians, get back. I'm hoping our hoplites can hold this flank. We're getting hit pretty heavily. Let's get our equites helping out. Let's get our cavalry to. Looks like they are retreating. We're riding, routing them pretty quickly. Our defenses are holding. Get their archers. Oh, what are these guys doing? Don't march forward. Oh, man. Alright, let's get our equites back. Make sure these guys are lined up properly. What do we got? Oh, that's their heavy cav. Okay. Our archers should be able to do some damage to them. Okay, these guys can't hit anybody. Let's make sure. Let's get them up on the top of the hill. I mean, they are heavy calves, so our arrows don't do too much damage, but we are taking out a few. Okay, we're doing quite a bit of damage. Alright, they're sending their chariot archers after my hoplites. That's good. Alright, I think we've taken out most of their reinforcement army. And here comes their main force. We've uh, killed 26%. We've lost 13%. They do have some phalanxes. So I, I might try to flank them with some cavalry. Let's get these guys up here. And have our hoplites attack this group. Okay, those guys have routed. These guys are routing. The phalanxes aren't even going to get to us. That's good. Okay, I don't want my cavalry taking on these eastern infantry. Let's get them back. Not alone, at least. Alright, here comes their, their phalanxes. And let's see if we can flank them. Okay, good. Those guys are routed. Let's see if we can route these guys. Good. All going good. Okay, these guys routed against our hoplites so we've killed 45 percent there's their heavy cav there's their general all right let's move this infantry forward try to get more guys to route i don't know if charging after their uh chariots is a good idea especially when we're doing some pretty good missile damage there's more heavy cav over here just keep my infantry lined up let our archers do their do their thing, even though they've got a lot of archers too. Let's see if we can rock these guys, these uh, Eastern infantry that are exhausted. Okay, yeah, they're routed. Get our infantry back. Let's kill some of them with their with their cavalry. Get some more kills. We're up to 53%. This poor Equites group is taking a lot of casualties. Let's get them back. They are eager, but they have took a lot of losses, so I don't want them to rout. We haven't done much damage at all to their uh, chariot archers. 
Man, these Illyrians are holding firm. They were down to nine guys. They can ch I should be able to charge their archers with my cavalry. I mean, their chariot archers, because they don't have the side, so... The side chariots are the ones that kill cavalry pretty bad. I don't know if they're going to be faster than my equites. My equites are fresh. There's their general. I don't know if this is smart. Let's wheel back over to the left. Take these guys over here on the left. Cavalry doesn't uh, route. Okay, there we go. We're getting these chariot archers. Let's get my infantry charging these guys. Let's charge the general. Let's try to trap them. So uh, he doesn't uh, run away. Get our cavalry here. Okay, he is winning this battle. We need to get our cavalry up here pronto. Let's get our general up here. Let's charge him. All right, we got him to route, and we killed him. Yes, that was that was good. All right, and these uh, chariots. Yeah, let's go after these chariots. Oh, here's another general. Um, get these chariots. Let's send our infantry up after their general. I think uh, our archers should be okay up here. There's no one threatening them. They do have a couple of cavalry left, heavy cav. All right, so let's surround this general just like we did last time. And then charge. Let's hold up, back off. Man, our general's bodyguard, he took out half. We lost half of them. All right, come on, let's go. Let's hit him in the back. Let's see if we can kill this guy too. Come on, get him. No, he's getting away. All right, they've got this light cav, I think. And they've got another heavy cav. Man, all they have left is cavalry. Boy, this was reckless on my part, sending my general out here. But we got him to route. Alright, let's go form up. Just like this. I don't know if I can chase down their, uh, their cavalry. My cavalry's been way too damaged. Uh, they still have these archers. Wow, what a pain. Chariot archers. Okay, let's get our infantry forward. <laughs> What few guys we have left, my goodness. This has really taken a toll on us. I wonder if they're almost out of arrows. Yeah, so we've killed 74%. A few guys left. Let's get our cavalry over here. Let's go after them with our infantry charging out. Get our cavalry on the left. Try to flank them. Let's get them over here. All right, let's attack. Man, we're getting eaten alive by these missiles. All right, they've routed. Those chariots have routed. We still have this Pontus heavy cav. Let's get our general out of there. I don't want my general to get hit, hit by a straight javelin. Uh, I don't. They're heavy cav. I gotta get them with my infantry, not my cavalry. Let's go. Let's get my general up here closer. Okay, we're gonna have to engage them just so my infantry can catch up. Alright, 68 guys left. Let's go. 
should have let my general charge. I just didn't want him to die. Alright, they're steady and winded. They seem like victory certain. Oh, there goes my general. Ah, oh, my general just died. But we routed them. Do they have unlimited missiles? Oh, wow, there we go. Ooh, what a costly victory. What a costly victory. Not heroic. Costly victory. Costly. We killed over 2,000. But they have like 600, 700. Over 600 remaining. We killed one of their generals, but they killed our general. Yikes. Okay, Numidia did attack us. And yeah, let's just fight this. All right, so I want to just take out this general as quickly as I can before the other armies come after me. And But I don't want him to get away, so I want to sneak my cavalry behind him. If I can. Let's get these guys cut off their exit. These guys cut off their exit. Okay, let's charge. We got him surrounded. Alright, hopefully. We got him. Good. Okay. Let's let's uh, form up over here. We got this other army to take out. Okay, I'm going to send my Velites out against their uh, missile cavalry. And I might try to... Tr uh, trap them see if their army can get here in time okay go this way don't scare them scare them off I don't want to scare them I want it trap them if I can uh well we'll settle for two guys if we can get them oh man they're so good at getting away yeah not gonna get them. Okay, maybe we are. They're so good at getting away. And in the meantime, while we're chasing them, they're just doing tons of damage to us. Uh, let's back off. Let's back off. That didn't work out at all. Get our Velites back. Okay, we're going to get their general. We caught up with their general. They charged at our Velites. Our Velites should be able to handle them. Because they are just a uh, missile cab. Let's get them some Equite support. Uh, let's go after these skirmishers with our infantry. Let's send our guys forward. Okay, we got the enemy general. Alright, we got some more missile cab over here. Let's see if we can go get them. Probably it pointless. All right, I'm too spread out here. I'm gonna get my infantry. Looks like my Velites have been routed. I'm just uh, way too spread out here. Oh, we got our whole flank has been routed by these uh, missile cav. Let's see if we can finally get them. Come on. I don't know if I'll be able to rally. Okay, those guys are routing. They just have way too much skirmishers. They're just doing way too much damage with their skirmishers. Kind of got sloppy this battle. And the last one too, I think. All right, another kind of costly victory. Uh, they sit, they have 108 guys left, but I don't know if they're going to be able to get into the city or not. We'll see. Okay, they want us to blockade Cordoba. Okay, that's not a problem, but I'm wondering if I will take the city before the mission completes. We'll see. Oh, man, looks like the Broody are, are marching out against Pontus's final city. So that's really bad news for me. I'm gonna have to get let's first get my spy moving out as quickly as possible. Can we beat the broody eye? 
to the next city. And do I want to attack with this captain? Probably not. All right, we got another uh, general. We lost the general, and a general came of age. He's apparently low, loyal, sober, and sharp. Not too bad, except for the apparently loyal. We have to be careful that he doesn't get bribed. All right, I'm going to have this army march out of Nicomedia. See if we can get some mercenaries. Let's get these peltists. And I'm just going to have them sit in the city. Just to maintain public order. We can stick with low taxes since the population is so low. Let's hit this rebel army, get them to march out, and then have Marcellus attack this army over here. Alright, I'm going to take uh, Captain Olus over here and uh, go ahead and besiege the city. We should get our reinforcements. Alright, let's go ahead and begin the fight. I do have control of my reinforcements. Uh, looks like their reinforcements are right behind me. So, um, we'll see what they do. They might try and attack right away. Let's go ahead and get my hoplites turned around. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, drop the rams for now. But let's go ahead and have these rams go ahead and move forward. They're too far away anyways. And I got these archers here. We'll just move them up. Yeah, these guys are going to be pretty tough with their uh, chariot archers and their general's bodyguard. Roman triumphs once more. The walls are down. Order your men on to victory. All right, I'm going to try to hit this. Uh, their general before he gets into the city. But that's going to be kind of difficult without cavalry. Maybe I can get this cavalry to help out. Let's get them to charge. Get Marcellus up here too. Yeah, I think they will be able to reach it in time. Alright, let's go ahead. Have him uh, hit this cavalry. Let's go charge. Get their general. Okay, we got him surrounded. He's he's routed and he's dead. There we go. The enemy general is dead. Okay, they've got their eastern infantry. Let's line up and get these guys. Off light formation. Yeah. Okay, we got these guys routed with our hoplites. Let's uh, take them out with our cavalry. All right, let's get everybody over here, double time, and go ahead and uh, try to get my guys in the city. Uh, let's get these guys off hoplite formation. I do not know what to do with their chariot archers. Could hit him with my archers. Could do the fire arrow technique. Let's try that. Let's try hitting him with fire arrows. Yeah, I don't think my hoplites are gonna reach him, but. Maybe. Maybe they'll charge right into me. They're panicked due to the fire attack. Let's get our hoplites away. I think it's going to work. We're not doing too much damage, but they are getting panicked. We kill a couple more of them. It should work. All right, they're they've routed. All right, let's get off the fire arrows and uh, actually hold our fire for now.
Uh, what do we got here? These guys are routed. Good. Let's get these guys closer to the city. Oh, it looks like we have a little phalanx battle over here. Which I didn't even... I forgot about them. Totally forgot about these guys back here, and now they're hitting our... Uh, but we got them kind of surrounded. These guys are archers charging in. They're wavering. We got them to route. Let's go after these archers. Okay, they're routing too. Let's get it. Let's go back with our main forces. And they've got some infantry. Not much left. Not much left. All right, let's get our infantry in the city. Let's get our archers in the city, our Illyrians. Looks like we got some archers over here we weren't able to rout earlier. Let's send an Equites after them. They're just hitting my general. There's only six of them left. Okay, that's it for that reinforcement army. Alright, I'm charging after their general. Our archers are hitting them. They only got... I mean, this is just their heavy cab. It's their general. I think it's just their captain. Alright, let's just have everyone charge in. Actually, get these equities out of there. Get these guys away. If we can get them out of the town square and surround them. Go. They're out of the town square and they routed. Good. Alright, we lost about 150, 149. Not too bad. Yeah, we're just going to occupy the settlement. Um, they got Shrine to Heracles. Let's uh, destroy it. Put in a Shrine to Saturn. Uh, we'll do some repairs, Saturn, low taxes, and uh, no, broody eye, no, how do I stop them? How do I stop them from getting there? Can I bribe them? I can't. <laughs> can't bribe an ally. I wonder if I could sit my diplomat on the bridge, if that would actually slow them down. Let's send my cavalry out. I don't know if this is going to slow them down. I know that allied armies can get in the way sometimes. No, it looks like they, unless I could get on that bridge, it's not going to stop them. If only there was another way to get troops over onto that bridge. Okay, I moved him here. Hopefully I could... I was trying to get mercenaries, but there's no mercenaries. Let's get my cavalry. Oh, so he's kind of vulnerable, but I don't see any enemy armies besides these rebels that can get to him. And Tarsus, both pretty big. A town and a minor city. And I know they have another settlement up here somewhere. Like, up here, I think. Well, let's get these reinforcements moving out. I wonder if I should hit these rebels. Now I kind of regret uh, sending that reinforcement army out Wait, over here. Let's get them back. Let's get uh, Secundus back to help with Pontus because I took such heavy losses. Man. Interesting. This... Uh, Dacian army. I wonder if they're thinking of hitting me on this bridge again. 
why is he going all the way around my territory? Um, Valerius can't catch him. Do I have enough to stop him? Two archers, five Hastatis, a couple of Equites. Yeah, that's enough to stop that army, even if they combine with this on the bridge. Orders. What to do with uh, Valerius? Orders. I'm going to get him back here. I want him to train up. So we'll train up these guys. I'm going to get these units back, actually. All right, it looks like, uh, unfortunately, uh, we did wipe out their reinforcements, but they managed to train um, a javelinman over here. So, uh, unfortunately, I have to go in here and uh, build some rams. And I won't be able to take it until next turn. That's that's okay. This is a fairly decent size uh, settlement. Let's get him up here reinforcing. All right, I'm going to take these guys here and uh, hit this uh, rebel army. We'll see what it is. Okay, just skirmishers. We should be able to handle it with our general and an equites. All right, we did lose 12 guys, but not bad. All right, we got a turncoat slave. Okay, not bad. Let's get him back in the city. All right, let's drop these armies off and complete that mission. All right, let's get uh, Corduba under siege. Let's merge these armies up and just march them right next to them. We've got a little army over here might attack. All right, let's get uh, Publius Victor on the move. I think I'm going to go ahead and start a war with Gaul. Uh, they do have a little bit of an army over here. But, yeah, I want to take all of uh, Spain. So I'm going to go ahead and attack. Yep. Oh, wow. I did not realize they had such a big army over here. Well, they might just attack me, which with such a big army. Um, and I should be able to hold them off. Okay, we're now at war with Gaul. All right, I'm going to take this army over here and attack Spain. We also have some rebels to deal with as well. Let's go ahead and fight them. They have 377 men, a couple of cavalry and a skirmisher. Should be no problem. Alright, looks like we wiped them out. Good. Alright, and with that, I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Let's see what the uh, broody I do. All right, looks like Spain is attacking me. And this must be in Cordoba, yep. Okay, um, it's good to be able to get this uh, faction leader outside of the city, so it's gonna be a good opportunity for me. They've got a couple of bull warriors and a couple of cav in their reinforcements. And a lot of war dogs and Iberian infantry. A, couple, a few skir skirmishers, a couple cavalry. All right, let's go. We got their war dogs behind. You know, you can route war dogs pretty easily if you just get to their handlers really fast before they release their dogs and then you don't have to deal with them. I'm gonna go and strike early with my cavalry. Take out their right flank and then try to whip around and get those uh, war dogs to route. Probably not a good chance of that. We don't know, I don't know. But definitely be able to take on this uh, right flank pretty easily. And it's better that I try to strike before they get to us. And let's go. Okay, these guys are routed. We should be able to get these guys. up we've got these skirmishers and they should route and then we'll get behind them get those war dogs all 
All right, let's back off before we route. We're still eager. Good. We're doing pretty decent casualties. But we only got the one war dogs to route. They are in our missile range. Their dogs are chasing us. Alright, those dogs are going to be a pain. Well, what am I doing? Oh, my poor slingers. Let's attack. Let's get these guys to attack. That's their captain. General, please! Press forward so the spirit of his army is broken too! Alright, this their main force has uh, been routed. Let's just send our guys forward. Let's charge them. Why am I charging with my slingers? I don't know. Get back, slingers. Ooh, war dogs. Okay, that's just their captain, I think. The enemy general is dead. His men know their doom approaches. Uh, I need help over here. This is their heavy cav general. Ooh, we're routing. Get my general up here and see if we can rally. Rally, rally. Rally! Oh no! Man, a heavy cap chap charge can just route like a whole stack, a whole three or four stacks of histadis. That's crazy. Two stacks of histadis. But we got him surrounded now. Hopefully, our general doesn't die. How many's he got left? 45 guys? Oh, another guy routed. Our equities. Rally, come on, guys. Okay, there's their general. Okay, we got both their generals. Uh, this ended up ugly. Ended up ugly because I rushed my attack. I should have waited. All right. Well, we took another big, another heavy casualty battle, but we won. And they have 517 guys left. They'll probably occupy the city. So it's going to be another tough siege. No, we got the city. So that means we didn't get to complete the um, mission. Let's go ahead and enslave them. Uh, Sinope, huh? That's way over here. Yeah, we can handle that. We got some ships pretty far away. Okay, so the Broody Eye went after Tarsus, which is just a town. It's just a town, whereas Mazaka is a minor city. So hopefully they don't have too many guys over there. I'm hoping it's a small town. Yes, small town. Nice. All right, good. All right, let's go take this bridge. And I'm a little bit concerned. I can't hire any mercenaries because my infantry. I have to leave my infantry behind. So hopefully Marcellus is okay with just cavalry here. I don't think those rebels can hurt them, but I don't know what they've got in here. They might be able to attack me here. All right, well, with that, I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in it here. Thank you for watching. Bye.